envisioned uh, in my mind, I envisioned this cool countdown clock with, with, with cool music behind it, right? And maybe even some computer generated images. And, and of course, I couldn't do any of those things. The best I could do was, uh, <laughs> was printing something out and then putting a little tripod behind it. So um, I'm learning a new craft. I know there are more complicated streaming programs where you can do all that stuff and uh, uh, nobody seems to have time myself included. So a uh, special, uh, again, a good morning to everyone. Invite you to join us for our worship this evening at 5 p.m. Um, and uh, and encourage people if, if, if you have the ability um, and the desire to uh, drop some care package items off at the church for the employees at Wellspring Lutheran in uh, Frankenmuth. We're going to have a couple red bins sitting outside of Lori's office. You can just drop them in there. Um, if you did have a, a, a cash donation you wanted to give, you can just stick that in the mailbox. And and sometime next week, we're going to be, we have our kind of crisis management team are going to be using to assemble the 150 care packages, and then we'll deliver them to the employees at Wellspring Lutheran. And, and I'll tell you, um, even just a simple gesture like this it is going to mean everything to them. Um, and, and as well as people who work in healthcare facilities across the country, uh, the, the stress and the despair are, are very real, are very real. And, uh, and, and I thought of a, a new slogan, right, for people to come to church uh, or at least watch church online. And it's, uh, you know, go to church online. Why not? You're not doing anything else. You got nothing else going on. Uh, that could be a new slogan right uh, during the quarantine um, you, you're not busy doing anything else why not go to church um, I don't know that that's going to work after the quarantine is lifted I'm just trying to uh, be flexible here so our, our reading scripture reading for today is Psalm 116 and this is the psalm that will come up in many churches lectionary for this week in the third Sunday of Easter um, and so if you if you want to follow along in your own Bibles uh, turn to Psalm 116 and uh, I believe I'm reading from the ESV. So if you have an NIV or another version, it won't match perfectly, but Psalm 116. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy. Because he inclined his ear to me, therefore I will call on him as long as I live. The snares of death encompass me. The pangs of Sheol laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return, O my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed even when I spoke, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, all mankind are liars. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A, a, a very a classic psalm of praise and thanksgiving. Psalm 116, the psalm we just read, is recited each year at Passover time in Jewish homes, even today. And it's a collection of psalms known as the Egyptian Hallel Psalms or Egyptian Praise Psalms. And that's Psalms 113 to Psalm 118. And, and the center of those, those Egyptian Hallel Psalms is, is the deliverance from the Exodus. And, you know, if you start with Psalm 113, the first of the Egyptian Hallel Psalms, it portrays the might and the concern of the Lord. Psalm 114 focuses on the deliverance of the Lord with, with, a, with a hymn of praise in Psalm 115. 
And then we get to Psalm 116, the Psalm we just read, and that tells the story of an individual's deliverance from death. And the Psalm begins with the writer summarizing what had happened to him. And it's not specific. He, he doesn't say exactly what, what happened, but it indicates that it's a very serious matter of life and death. The snares of death encompassed me, is what we read. The snares of death encompassed me. And then the author goes on to list some general characteristics of God, that he's gracious and righteous and merciful and protective of ordinary people, particularly protective of ordinary people, which is good news for you and I, and ends with, when I was brought low, he saved me. And then verse 12, verse 12 actually fulfills the promise that the psalmist makes in verse 2. In verse 2, his, his promise is that I will call on him as long as I live. And then in verse 12, he goes and does that. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? What shall I return to God for everything he's given me? It's, it's, it's almost a question that, 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 it's almost a rhetorical question in that you and I can never return or render back to God everything he's given to us. In a sense, it, it, it's again, it's, it's a confession of praise. What shall I render? And those words should be familiar to you. They're part of our offertory. Um, offertory verse that, that we sing in church from time to time. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? Which comes right from Psalm 116. And then in verse 13, we hear him say, the psalmist say, I will lift up the cup of salvation. I will lift up the cup of salvation. It, in, in a very liturgical and religious act of thanksgiving. And, and when, you, when you think of that, the psalmist, Psalm 116, right, I'm, I'm going to lift up the cup of salvation. We marvel at the significance when Jesus sang these very words on the Passover, at the Last Supper, on the night of his betrayal and his arrest, having instituted the cup of salvation, the new covenant in his blood with his apostles. The, the connection is, it's, it's mind-bottling, as uh, Will Ferrell says, mind-bottling, mind-boggling. It will lift up the cup of salvation that, that Christ himself sang those words at the Last Supper as he lifted up the cup and presented it to his disciples, the new covenant in his blood for the forgiveness of sins. And then here is the call from God to his children. And this is in verse 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. This scriptural affirmation that to God, all life is precious. All life is precious. And that we're called to hold the same value. That all life is precious. Psalm 16, this great psalm of thanksgiving it, from an individual who had a life-threatening problem in his life. He prayed to the Lord. The Lord helped. He made a vow of sacrifice and praise. He even said, in the midst of my suffering, I will believe. My faith will stand strong. And isn't that the prayer that you and I have as well? That no matter what comes our way, our faith remains strong. You know, a sermon I, I remember preaching and this this is a the sermon I'd preached was taken not only from an article I'd read on the internet, um, but as well as from Martin Luther's writings during the plague in Wittenberg in the 1500s, this idea that that and Luther wrote this that during the, the Black Plague that hit Wittenberg in the 1500s, the biggest danger wasn't illness or death, it was that we are driven away from Christ, that our faith is weakened. And we, we hear the same affirmation in Psalm 116. And, and it becomes a vow and a promise to God. And the psalmist saying, dear Lord, help me, help me fulfill this vow. No matter what happens, my strength will be strong. And I know it will be because you are with me. No matter what happens to me, I will lift up the cup of salvation. I will praise you. Amen. Amen. Well, the song we're doing today um, is a song... Uh, 
a, a good old friend of mine, and I say old because he's an old man. His name is Ron Jopi, and he lives up in Iron Mountain. Uh, he's a, I see him at least once a year, sometimes twice a year when I go uh, uh, fishing up in the UP in June, and then as well as uh, when I, I, I would say I go hunting in November, but mostly I just sit in my blind and nap and watch the squirrels and blue jays. Um, but I remember this song we're going to do. It's called Blessed Assurance. And this was one Ron really liked. This is one we sang uh, in, uh, in our praise team back in Iron Mountain. Um, but uh, when, when I was reading Psalm 116, um, I thought of this song, just this blessed assurance. And what a blessing it is for us to have the assurance of faith that comes from God, you who have been called by the Father, sanctified by the Holy Spirit, and washed clean by the blood of Christ. And again, trigger warning, apologize for uh, my singing. I'm working on it, though. I promise you I'm working on it. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior. All the day long, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending, bring from above Echoes of mercy, whispers of love This is my story, this is my song Praising my Savior all the day long This is my story this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking upon. Filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior. All the day long. This is my story, and I'm sticking to it. I will lift up the cup of salvation no matter what happens around me. I pray that our faith remains no matter what this world brings us. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Receive the Lord's blessing and be a blessing to others. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you soon. God bless.